<laughs> Alright, look closer real quick. We're just gonna, uh, this is a continuation of the same video. Uh, I just went ahead and tapered out this side. I wanted to see the way that flows into the uh, wave pattern. See how that works? I just got the next level guard. I had an OA guard on. For those of you guys using the red guards, that's what I'm using today. Put an O guard, leaves the hair, cut it 3 16th of an inch against the grain, brush it down. So I did that on uh, his front left side and then his back left. So it's taped down real nice. Okay. And of course, with the grain, was done the same. Guard coming here. This is the key to keeping it nice and thick and dark. So you can have those thick waves. And what's that, bro? Right here, I'm gonna show you how we actually blended that in for the sake of time. We just split the video up a little bit. So five, four, three, two, one. If you've seen our DVDs, Fade in the season is five, four, three, two, one. We use that same concept. It's not an Andes Master, so you're not gonna be able to see the notches. Kind of filling my way there. So it's five, four, three, two. All the way closed is referred to as one. And that's all I can do with that guard. And I'm gonna move to the next guard down. A little cheat area. So the right side, here we go. Angle in the clipper. Notice I'm not coming straight up because the hair tells me that it grows this way. So that means I need to angle my clipper here, fold the ear back. Just use a small right corner of my clipper. You should see it fading. Following up with a comber brush behind it to lay it down nice and smooth. And again, on this side, just to be fair, both sides of the haircut. With the grain, it's in a closed position again. You know, I'm moving a little faster. I'm going to lay it, out, lay it down without taking uh, off more than what we want. So that works. What's going on, bro? You busy today, man? Yeah, I'm actually booked for the day. Yeah, we'll probably be tomorrow. Uh, okay, you got my number right? Yeah, I got the number. Yeah, just start hitting me up. I get you All back right. on the uh, schedule there. All right. Okay, so now we're on our 16th guard. Doing the same deal. We've already done the left side, so we'll just pick up from here. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't make it too hard for yourself. Look at the direction that the hair is going. It's not going straight down. It's going slightly to the right, which means I have to angle my clipper on this way in order to get a nice smooth taper. Okay, I know I've done that pretty quick just because he didn't need much work back here. His greater hair the taper kind of falls in. So I went five, four, three. That was two, and now that was actually was three. I'm sorry. And then now there's two. What you'll notice on these guards, I bump my uh, blade up a tad bit, so if you push it too far, that's the sound of your blade, that cutting blade, chewing into your guard. You don't want to operate like that. So back it up a little bit, and back's tapered. So it looks a couple of dark spots in there that need to be taken out with clipper over comb. Brings us to the fourth section. There's my five, there's my four. Notice I'm just using the corner, see that? Push it back down. If you really look close at the hair, uh, what's tough about these type of haircuts, see how it's still like some wild edges right there? They don't worry about that. We're going to get that to lay down really nice. And that's the uh, scary thing, I guess, initially, when you start cutting against the grain, because it almost looks like you're creating more of a mess for yourself. Throw a quick line over the back and you can kind of see how that lines up real nice and neat. Now we run around the corner here. Strong wave pattern. And how to basically tame the hair to a point so you can get control of it without taking it too low so he can still keep it nice and dark and where it's thick waves. Line, the 
beard's already been trimmed up. You can keep that pretty thick. A little shaving cream. This is our little formula here. Uh, those of you guys have seen videos before. Nothing really changed there. Foundation is foundation, right? That signature cut. Working with your water, your shaving cream, your razor, your hot towel. All those good things. Hot Take our hot towel, as hot as we can take it. Pour it over once here, let it rest over the top. Purpose of the hot towel is just to lay down that hair real nice and smooth so we can come across it with the sharpest razor we can find. And do a nice sharp, clean razor. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Okay? I'm going to take advantage of the water and what it can do to hair. Let's just lay it down. See how nice this waves are showing now? Nice and thick and dark. And don't forget, we didn't cut with the grain. Um, like most barbers are doing, we went against the grain. So I say you can't, you just wait a second, cut it down to size first, then smooth it out. Okay? So you're cutting it down to the right level against the grain, use your with the grain to smooth the edges out. And of course, your hot towel. It's a little trick if you use, they'll appreciate it. Courtesy swipe behind the ears, you're good to go. You put a little shaving gel in there. It's aloe vera shaving gel. It's top secret actually. I don't want to show you the label of that just yet. No. Put a little shaving gel, aloe vera gel. It's going to allow the razor to slide for me. Yeah, we got to go over the shoulder. It looks professional. Persona Razor, Persona Razors, you know that's my favorite. Alright. Well, nothing, we're ready to rock. I need to relax. Make sure the customer's nice and relaxed. Same thing on the other side, I'm going to take the tag with me, camera man can come on around. Start from that middle. Take the same towel here and flip it over. Hold it down. It's just gonna uh, dry that surface off. Hair usually cuts a little better with uh, sharper implements like your razors and your shears if it's damp or wet. Okay, that's something that all of us can remember or remind ourselves. Well, that's textbook stuff right there. And uh, cuts a little better if it's dry. Uh, if you use things like clippers or trimmers. Just a little hold the spray right there. Uh, get it dry as we can. Water. And you say, hey, that's a little over the top. I doubt I'm going to spend the extra time or energy doing this for the customer. Well, you get what you put into something, right? So here's our formula. We're giving it to you right here. Dry that front line really nice and neat. Now we come across it with the trimmer. You should see it sharper.
I could I could afford to maybe put that dryer on there just a tad bit longer. But the dryer works in uh, conjunction with your hose spray. Just like uh, some people are using spritz, different things like that. For those of you guys who are already familiar, you know where I'm headed with that. But, uh, because you were cutting damp hair, it's still a little bit damp because I just ran it over real quick. But it's pretty hard to get a line. Um, it's nice and sharp and dark if the hair is still damp. Okay. So we dried it a little bit to help the clipper be able to uh, cut across the hair because it's nice and stiff and dry. And the same thing here. And if you think back to the beginning of the video, see how we got that calic laid down real nice and neat now? We're going to cut, we're going to uh, take our time, comb a brush, small hairs, right into the lineup to prevent from pushing the blind back. Okay. And again, everything, especially here, everything about this young man's haircut wants to flip and curl up. <laughs> you know, it turns to a headache and a half for an average barber, especially a beginner barber, and a lot of times, You'll see a barber running from a haircut like this, or going through what I like to refer to as a panic attack, a barber panic, panic attack, you know? A lot of rookies that come out into the barber room. But your next 10 customers today may be guys like this. I'm just doing clean up work here. And the that I thought was a little too long, that's preventing from my, my lineup from looking nice and sharp and dark. Same thing on this side. Okay, my man, come on around my shoulder here. Alright. Now see this, this is what I'm talking about. If I look underneath there, that's a lot of scary stuff going on, right? You got stuff flipping up and down. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, comb it to me. If you have a haircut like this, it's almost like you're fighting every little hair to get it to stay where you want it to be. One touch and it wants to move. Notice for those little corners there, just to detail it, I've got my barber taper comb. I'm just grabbing those little edges, cutting the hair down to where I want it to, so the lay flat. Just along that line. And the concept here, you're almost like begging a, a curl or a wave, which is half of a curl, to lay down so that you can cut it. So next time, cutting against the grain. YouTube World Color Barbershop.